Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking, what can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just to click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Another extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 30th of October. I'm James Spann. We'll have rain at times tonight. Tomorrow morning, much colder air blowing in here. Tomorrow, the coldest of the season. Many spots will be close to freezing by early Friday morning. Let's talk about things. There's the big upper trough west of the state. Record lows and cold out west, and that air begins to blow in here tomorrow. Today, we are socked in with clouds over most of Alabama. We've got a few thin spots. Uh, by mid-afternoon, the heaviest rain over the eastern and northeastern part of the state. Had a few uh, flooding issues and scattered spots during the day today. Some spots going over two inches of rain. And again, very beneficial rain. So here's the watch warning map. A lot of freeze warnings and frost advisories. Uh, we've got winter weather advisories for parts of the Great Plains. Around here, we've got a, a freeze watch for the Tennessee Valley for Friday morning. Issued by the Weather Service in Huntsville. Flash flood watch for North Georgia. Uh, understand some folks further to the south might see a freeze Friday morning and Saturday morning as well. Also a good chance of frost both Saturday and Sunday morning as the coldest air so far this season settles in here. Here's the severe weather outlook for the rest of today, tonight, early tomorrow. Got a marginal risk across the deep south. This basically includes all of Alabama. The main issue will be early tomorrow morning with the cold front coming in in terms of the severe weather threat. Uh, some of the storms could produce strong gusty winds. Low end chance of a brief isolated tornado. And we'll talk more about this in a second. Uh, and keep in mind, this runs through 7 a.m. tomorrow. After 7 a.m. tomorrow. A marginal risk over the east and northeastern part of the state. But the line of thunderstorms should be out by mid-morning. Uh, the big issue tomorrow, Halloween's going to be to the northeast of here. We have an enhanced risk for much of Virginia, parts of Maryland, Pennsylvania. That includes Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Then on day three, which is Friday, much of the country in cold, stable air. No severe weather problems. Rain for the next seven days. The east is wet. Keep in mind this includes the rain we've had today. And we'll include the rain we get tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, rain amounts 2 to 3 inches for the north, 1 to 2 inches for the south. And again, some spots today have already picked up over 2 inches of rain. And the tropics, that thing up in the North Atlantic is really a hybrid. It's not a classic tropical system. Uh, but the deep tropics are quiet. Uh, Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, over toward the uh, African coast. So let's go through modeling here. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. There's your trough. A deep surface low is uh, located north of Pittsburgh, around Erie, Pennsylvania, with a trailing front. And notice the snow falling in Chicago and Grand Rapids. How about that for Halloween? So this is 4 a.m., coming off the high res NAM. And heavier storms moving into northwest Alabama. And again, some of those might produce gusty winds. There is a low-end chance of an isolated brief tornado. Not a great concern, just a low-end chance. And again, this is early in the morning, 4 a.m. The instability values are, are very low. The lapse rates are weak. This is not a classic severe weather setup. By 7 o'clock, that line of showers coming into Birmingham. That's the actual front. And again, there could be a few you know, gusty winds with that. By 1 o'clock, the front is over in Georgia, and a few lingering showers continue. But by 6 o'clock, it's all gone. So for the trick-or-treaters tomorrow night, no rain. It's over. But here comes the cold. This is 7 a.m., showing the cold front between Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. Birmingham at 72, Tuscaloosa 56, the Shoals in the middle 40s. By 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, the cold front down into southeast Alabama, uh, we are in the 40s. And by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, we've got 30s for places like Cullman, Gadsden, Haleyville. Uh, Birmingham at 40 will have a brisk northwest wind. So no rain for the trick-or-treaters tomorrow evening, but it is going to be one of our coldest Halloween evenings in a while. So bundle up. This is Friday. We're going to start the day near freezing. I wouldn't be shocked that the Weather Service in Birmingham issued a freeze watch down to uh, Interstate 20 
In fact, the uh, NAM is spitting out 29 at Birmingham. The GFS is spitting out 33. So a lot of folks will see the growing season ending on Friday morning. The day will be sunny with a high in the 50s. These are the anomalies, much of the country in cold air. Saturday, really the same thing. We'll be close to freezing to start the day. The high upper 50s and the same thing on Sunday. The morning low in the 30s, the high in the upper 50s. Bright sunshine, though, for the weekend. Monday, we're still dry. Tuesday, evidence of maybe some moisture coming back east of here, but we're still dry. And this is a week from today, Wednesday the 6th, a zonal flow, a dry air mass. Highs getting back into the 60s, maybe upper 60s by then. So let's go out 10 days. Saturday, November 9th. This is the day of the Alabama-LSU football game. That's a slightly big game in Tuscaloosa. Uh, there's your upper look. Got troughing in the northeastern states. And down below that, a cold 1041 high over southwest Minnesota. And evidence we might have some rain to deal with on that day. But I stress, this is 10 days out. It is way too early to put out a forecast for that football game. Uh, but just be aware, preliminary signs are that it might be wet around here. We'll see. It's not a forecast, just a thought that's on the table. So this is the uh, QPF for Birmingham with the uh, European Ensemble, and really all the rain's going to be today and tomorrow after this event will be dry for a while. And there's the drop in temperatures with highs in the 50s and lows well down in the 30s Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The next video here by 7 a.m. tomorrow. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.